Hollywood is a business, no different than a restaurant. It is there to serve and cater to the desires of the customers and in return be paid for the services provided. The equation is that simple. The people here who are entitled and out of touch are in Hollywood itself and the entertainment industry who believe they are owed their customers money even if they create an inferior or unwanted product. One that is not wanted or ordered by the customer but is given to them as if they feel this is what he needs and not what he wants. A good comparison might be walking into a restaurant in your area where the chef has just completed a new culinary arts class at his college and has hired a new staff of culinary graduates. You order your usual, a steak medium well done. Soon the staff, which you don't recognize, bring you an exotic fish dinner. And they explain that the chef said the beef you wanted in gravy and the fully loaded baked potato covered in butter and sour cream is just not healthy and the chef is committed to see you eat better. You argue that the name of the restaurant is Joe's Steakhouse and you've been a customer for 20 plus years. They tell you that this is no longer your father's steakhouse and they are now serving food that is good for you and is top sided in the industry. You tell them again that you wanted a steak. The staff starts screaming at you that you are not a culinary expert and by the way you have treated the staff, you're a racist, misogynist and homophobic poor excuse for a human being. You and other patrons get up and refuse to pay for the food and walk away from the restaurant. This pattern happens over and over until the establishment is deep in financial trouble. What's amazing to you is the young hip people also seem to have no interest in this new idea they are doing either. The place sits empty and they blame customers for not coming in anymore and they continue to say they are now geared up for a new demographic and that this is no longer your dad's steakhouse. They go on the news and say they have an excellent product, a top chef and they are making the best food they ever made. But the customers are self-entitled and will not pay for their food because they are homophobic, racist, and misogynistic. No, the person here that is tone deaf and out of touch with their client base is the restaurant pushing food on customers they do not want to eat. They are the ones entitled and feeling they have no obligation to give the customer what they want as they are now smarter and know what is better for them. You cannot do this and be successful in any business and that includes the entertainment industry. This is the current situation plaguing Hollywood and they are so out of touch that they can't see that they're the ones who are at fault and are taking their fan bases for granted and in an entitled way assuming the fans are obligated to hand them their hard-earned cash for things that they do not want and did not ask for. This is why Birds of Prey failed and Sonic was successful. The studios actually stopped and listened to the fandom and made course corrections and created a product they wanted to purchase. This same lesson needs to be learned by Star Trek and Star Wars to create a product that the fans will want and embrace en masse. Until the studios stop attacking the fandom and start listening, they stand to lose incalculable amounts of money and keep dishing out flop after flop. It starts by putting people in charge who know the product's history and who will listen to the fan base. It's not their job to see we eat what's best for us. It's their job to prepare for us what we want to eat, else their business model fails. Until they can fully realize and embrace this, it is Hollywood that is acting with a sense of entitlement. And all the attacks on fans is the reflection for not being able to understand and act on this simple logic.